Hello, hi, Assalamualaikum and welcome back to Madam Mima Azlina English Online Lesson. How are you doing today? I hope everybody is doing great. So, are you ready for today's lesson? I hope you are. Okay, so what we are going to do today? But before that, let us look at what are the things that you need to remember when you are in a lesson. Okay, so the first thing is, I would like you to be ready with all your notebook, your pen, your pencil, and all those materials that you need before you start your lesson. Okay, it is very important to have all those things because you need to jot down all the information or what are the things that need to be jot down because it's a, a good way to learn. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, kalau kita nak belajar setakat mendengar sahaja, it's not good. So, you need to jot down uh, what are the things that you have learned in the lesson. Alright, so next, tips number two. Okay, I need you all to stay focused. Okay, um, lupakanlah kejap game-game ke, TV ke, cartoons ke and whatsoever. And stay focused with me for about 20 minutes more or less. Okay, next, I would like to ask you to study at your own pace. Okay, you don't have to rush in your lesson. Ah, tak payah nak cepat-cepat habis. Okay, you can um, rewind ataupun... Uh, patah balik kalau perlu uh, If you think that eh, Apa tadi eh Madam bagi tahu Tak clear Okay So you can go back Or you can ask me In the comment section below Alright Next I would like to ask you To share this knowledge That you got in my lesson With others Okay Kongsilah dengan kawan-kawan Dekat luar sana Okay Kita sama-sama pandai Okay Sama-sama Belajar whatever uh, information or whatever tips you got, you get in my lesson. Kongsikanlah dengan kawan-kawan. Okay. So next, uh, last but not least, remember to stay safe. Okay, stay at home. Go out when you really need to go out. Okay. Uh, kita boleh tengok semakin lama semakin meningkat kes COVID-19 ni kan. So, Make sure take care, okay? Uh, stay safe, be with your family, and only go out when you need to go out, alright? Next. Alright, so what we are going to learn today? Okay, so we are still at Unit 1, Get, uh, Get Smart Plus 3, okay, for Year 3. So we are still in Unit 1. Uh, in my previous lesson, uh, we have learned uh, the first part which is welcome. So you have learned some of the words that can be used to describe things or people. Okay, do you still remember what are the words? Alright. So, uh, and today we are going to look at part 2 in Get Smart Plus 3 which is numbers. Okay. So, I am sure that everybody know what is numbers. Okay, you have learned this in year one, in your preschool, even when you are home with your parents. Okay, you dah belajar dah tentang numbers. But for year three, we are going to learn numbers in tenth. Dalam bilangan sepuluh. Okay, dalam bilangan sepuluh, kita akan belajar numbers. Alright, so what are the numbers that you are going to learn today? Ah, but before that, let us look at what are the learning objectives for this lesson. Okay, <coughs> so today we are going to learn, so we are learning to say out numbers 10 to 100. Okay, so kita nak belajar sebut numbers 10 ke 100 in English. I'm sure everybody, is know, everybody knows this, but... Um, it's okay to learn, okay, just to recall, refresh your mind about the numbers. Okay, so that is number one. And then number two, we are going to spell the numbers correctly. 10 to 100. Okay. Alright, so are you ready uh, for today's lesson? 
I hope you are, okay, because we are going to proceed to the next slide. Alright, so today we are going to learn about numbers, alright? So we are going to start with number 10. Okay, number 10. So how do you spell 10? T-E-N, 10. T-E-N, 10. Okay, so when you add 10 to 10, Okay, kita tambah 10 kepada 10. So, it becomes 20. Okay, so the next number is 20. Okay, how do you spell 20? T-W-E-N-T-Y. 20. Okay, so you have the first one. 10 and then 20. Okay, so can you tell me what is the next number? Good job if you, t if you say it's 30. Okay, so the next number is 30. 30. Okay, so how do you spell 30? It's T-H-I-R-T-Y. 30. 30. Okay, next is 40. 40. F O R Y 40 Okay, so what happened if we add 10 to 40? Very good. It's 50. 50. Okay, how do you spell 50? It's F I F T Y 50. Good job. Okay, so we are at the uh we have gone through half of the numbers. Okay, so are you ready for the next one? I hope you are. Okay, so the next one is 60. 60. Okay, so S-I-X-T-Y. 60. Okay, so uh, the next one will be very easy because it's the same numbers as what you have learned in 1 to 10. Okay, number dia lebih kurang sama sahaja. Cuma ada penambahan ejaan di belakang sahaja. So, what is uh, uh, after 6? What comes after 6 is 7. So, it is 70. 70. S-E-N-V-E-N-T-Y S-E-N-V-E-N-T-Y V E N T Y 70. Ah oh, teacher pun dah tersasul dah. Okay. So 60 70. Okay. So after 7 is 8. Very good. So now it is 80. 80. Okay. How do you spell 80? Okay. Do you remember how to spell how to spell 8? All right. So if you got how to spell 8 and then it it is easier for you to spell 80. Okay? It's E-I-G-H-T-Y. 80. 80. Okay. Next is 90. 90. Okay? How do you spell 9? Well done. Okay? If you spell it N-I-N-E, then it's the correct uh, number name for 9. So, what about 90? Okay, 90. N-I-N-E-T-Y. 90. 90. Okay, so we are now going to the last number in our lesson, which is 100. 100. Or in your textbook, it says there, a hundred. A hundred. Okay? So, you can use either one. You can use either one hundred or a hundred. It is the same. Benda yang sama. One hundred pun boleh. A hundred pun boleh. Okay? So, how do you spell hundred? Okay? Or a hundred. It is, it should be like this. A Oh, you put an A, A, okay, H, U, N, D, 
R E D. A hundred. A hundred. All right. So it's easy, right? Okay. Now that you have known all the numbers, okay, and I hope you can also remember the spelling of each numbers. Okay. So I'm going to let you stay at this light for a while. So that you can copy the spelling of the numbers because for the next slide, I would like to test your spelling skill. Okay, so you can uh, write your answers on the comment section below. Okay, or you can also write it on your in your notebook. Ah, sebab it's very important to learn with your notebook. Uh, with you, okay, supaya boleh tulis apa-apa saja benda yang cikgu-cikgu uh, ajar kan, not only for my lesson but all lessons, okay, semua semua mata pelajaran pun kalau kita nak belajar make sure ada buku catatan so, are you ready? okay, so we are going to the, the to the next slide okay, in the next slide, I would like you to tell me or to spell uh, the numbers okay, so Alright, so what number is this? Huh, what number is this? It's very simple, right? Okay. Next one. What number is this? Hmm. Okay. Dah tulis jawapan? Alright, good. Next one. What about this one? Ah, it's a bit tricky because... The spelling is different from the single digit number. Okay? Ha, berbeza sikit uh, uh, apa? Ejaan dia but uh, I'm sure you can do this. Okay? Next one. Ha, okay, what about this one? Ha, this one should be easy. Ha, sebab nama dia sama je dengan number yang single digit. Okay? And then this is the last one. Okay? What number is this? Okay. So, you can use, remember, you can use either 100 or 100 for this one. Okay. So, uh, the next one is, okay, the next one is, okay, I would like to test your knowledge. So, I'm giving you a link of an activity which is a word search activity. Okay, so you can type this link at your google okay and then there will be uh, one activity where you need to find uh, the name of the numbers okay in a word search activity okay ha so, nanti pergi tengok dekat uh, page tu and then cuba cari okay all the names for the numbers okay so for conclusion okay uh, today you have learned uh, 10 numbers in tenth, dalam bilangan sepu, sepuluh. So, we start with number 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 or a hundred. Okay, so that is the numbers in ten, dalam bilangan sepuluh, sepuluh. So, you have look at the numbers and also you uh, have spelled the numbers. Kita dah pun eja uh, number tu. Okay. So, I've given you two activities. The first one is you look at the number and name the numbers. And then this one, I want you to uh, find the uh, words in a word search activity. Alright, so I hope you have learned uh, a lot in this lesson. And then I would like to thank you for attending to my uh, English online lesson. Um, if you find that this uh, lesson is... Uh, very informative, very uh, beneficial, sangat membantu, okay, for you to uh, learn, okay, then why not you click the button subscribe and also share this video with your friends, okay, berkongsi dengan rakan-rakan, okay, apa yang dah kita ajar dalam lesson ni, okay, so um, I think I think that's all for today, thank you for watching.